Yeah, just proud of um, our response from Evansville. Um, we had a hard day of work yesterday, to be quite honest with you. I didn't like our effort. I felt like we were super undisciplined and unfocused at Evansville. And so going into yesterday, um, we got back to the basics. It was very, very um, simple dr drills, but uh, super intentional. And I, I felt like our kids really bought into that. Um, and obviously to hold a very good, good Loyola team to 53 points is, um, I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, two back-to-back -back rough games. Mm -hmm. uh, could it easily, the season, I mean, could it unravel mm -hmm. in a hurry? What does it say about this team to be able to rebound so quickly and, and to play its best game of the year? Yeah, it says a lot. It says a lot. I think, um, I think P just said it is we're maturing. Um, we, you know, it's not a linear thing. <laughs> we go up and down, you know, and, and that's okay. But as long as we can just stay focused on the task and um, I'll continue to tell anybody that will listen, I like this team. I like us a lot in that we just come to work. You know, it's the next thing. It, we come to work and then if there's a, a focus, we're pretty intentional about locking into that. Um, and they like each other, so that always helps. Our chemistry is good. Our cohesion is good right now. Uh, we'll continue to ride a wave as, as much as we mature. Um, that takes time. But for the most part, um, just our focus on the emphasis for this game was, was pretty impressive. You talked about locking in. I mean, the defense was locked in really start to finish. Yeah. Where, did, where did that come from? Yeah, it wasn't ideal to play them <laughs> after Evansville because we got in foul trouble there, just, again, being just undisciplined. Um, so we watched it. We talked about it. Um, we, we talked about, you know, we were super disciplined with boxing out. We haven't been the last couple games. And so it was just a real conversation and went back and forth. There's a lot of dialogue. We got back to work yesterday. And um, where it came from is that was all we've talked about for the last 36 hours. And if you want to win, you do those things. And so I keep talking about doing the things that equate to winning. You can want to win all you want to. There can be a desire there. But what are you actually doing that's equating to winning? And we haven't been doing that. I mean, is it really that simple to, of just boxing out? I mean, you're, yeah. you were getting beat eight, nine rebounds a game. And yeah. tonight, I think you got rebounded by three or four. Yeah. Uh, is it really <laughs> just that simple? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> losers and winners both want to win, right? Like, the intention is to win. But what are you doing to win? You know, and it goes back to just – if you want to do it, if there's an intentionality behind anything that you're doing, at some point you just do it. You know, so if we're talking about a simple box out, yes, it's a simple act. But are we committed to that act? If we're talking about one-on-one -on -one containment, are you committed to that act? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter anything else. We can score. Everybody's played basketball since they were five or six years old. Like, we know the game. But are you committed to doing the things that equate to winning? And, and tonight we were. And as a coach, You've been battling foul trouble all yeah. season. The lineup in and out tonight really stayed out of foul trouble. Probably gave just more options for you to play with the bench. Well, yeah, you can't be in foul trouble when you have a limited roster. Like we've had kids out with injuries, and then you add foul trouble on top of it. You know, and so again, it just goes back to we have enough. I don't care who's available to play. We have enough. Um, that's been the message to our team all along. It's just what are we doing with the opportunity to play? And, and sometimes we're just super unfocused and undisciplined to where we do get in that foul trouble. And we were out of it today. So it, it made for a nice rotation. Um, everything felt a little bit easier. Um, and I'd like to do that again on Friday. <laughs> and then last <laughs> question. Can you just – we've talked about Peyton yeah. nonstop. I mean, yeah. but the team really seemed to respond when she's on the court, but mm -hmm. also just with her play tonight. Yeah, I mean – I think our team has done a good job of, of, you know, operating without her best that we can. Um, there's something about experience. You know, there's something about her will and desire to win after three and a half years of not, <laughs> you know, and I think um, it shows. Like Peyton's going to put people in the right spot. She doesn't always have to score. It's just I'm looking at her four assists to zero turnovers. You know, she's another crasher rebounder that you have to worry about. You know, so she does things on the floor that don't necessarily show up in the points total. Um, even though she did score the ball well tonight. That just makes everybody else comfortable and allows them to do what they do well. Obviously, this is your third game back, but uh, tonight just looked different. What was different for you tonight compared to the first two games? Yeah, I think just being back at home, honestly, comfortable here. Um, but just trying to stay with it and keep the focus uh, on the task at hand and just next game, next game, and not worry about the past game. So felt good tonight. feels good to get a win. It feels good to be back at home, and all the things went together. You made a triple in the corner there, your first one of the year, and I just just watching your celebration is like you won the national championship. You were yeah. like, what was that? What made yeah. that so special? 
Sheesh, Dave. Um, I think through the whole process, all I've been working on is fundamental shooting, fundamentals, fundamentals, and just getting my shot more consistent. And the first couple games, I wasn't able to see it pay off. And today, I was able to see it pay off, and it just felt really good. Also, probably feeling good to be able to snap that losing streak. Uh, what, yes. what made the difference tonight? In, uh, really, it was offense and defense. Yeah. The ball really seemed like played really well. Defense, defense, defense. I mean, we know we can score with anybody. Anybody in the country we can score with. When we lose, we're still putting up 60, 70 points. Like, that's not our issue. We knew that it was it was defense. Every game that we've lost, it's been defense. So, uh, after our last game, we locked in, knew what we needed to do, defense and box out, defense and get rebounds. So, we really just bought into that, and it showed tonight. But you also had, like, one-day turnaround. Like what? Yeah. How, were you, how was this team able to make so many adjustments in such a short amount of time? Um, I think we're continuing to mature. We understand that the past is the past. We have to learn from it, but we're still five games in. That's not our entire season, and we're learning each and every day. We know it's a quick turnaround, and for us, we learn, we get better, and Coach talks about it all the time, just uh, keeping the task the task, and we knew going into the next game that we need to lock in on defense and rebounding and just focus on us. For you personally, you went through a long, long rehab, and to be able to come back, all that work, I mean, it, was it worth it just, just for this one moment, single moment, just alone? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it for all the moments. The whole, the whole time I get in the game, whether it's two minutes or five minutes at a time, it sucks sometimes. But, you know, when you can go out there and get a win and get back at home and play like that, it, it makes it all worth it. So.